proper line qualification, set automatic sequence introduction. ACT6000 can perform many measurements in single end mode. To operate in comfortable way, it's possible to perform the measurements from the central side without technician and remote instrument at the opposite side of the open line under test. By a special automatic sequence, available with the Advanced Software 1 adoption, it's possible to perform a complete line qualification, electrics and transmissive testings included, in only 90 seconds. First of all, to simulate a real line, we injected on high impedance the noise on our line simulator, using the white noise generator of another ACT6000. The level of this noise is near to the threshold limit for an XDSL service. Besides, we put a resistive fault in the middle of the line behind the B wire and the ground. To verify the real noise level on the line, we can do a single noise test in real time. So first of all you have to select line test. Balance line test, enter. And then with F3 you can select for example VDSL217, enter. With F4 you have to select noise and start. As you can see, here we have the level of the noise and this is the threshold limit of this VDSL217. End of line finding by TDR. Before starting the automatic sequence, we suggest to find the end of line equal and verify the congruent line length according to the PVF related to the selected cable type. Cable setup. From the main menu, you have to select configuration and utility. Then cable setup. Now we know that our line simulator is called AWG23. So in this case, this is the preponderant cable type. You know that preponderant it means that main sector of the line to be tested or the first going out cable from the MDF room if the test is performed by the central office. Okay. First of all you have to select 2, that is TDR fault locator. So now we have the hand of line echo. Line qualification, set automatic sequence, configuration and setup. Connect the line to be tested to A, B and C. Now from the main menu you have to select 1. Balance line tests. And now for example we select VDSL217. Start. And now you have to wait the end of test. Okay, here we are. So we have the yellow data, that is the pass indications, and the red data. There are the fail indications. So now you can save this file, pushing F5 two times. And then you can push view with F1. Ok, here we have the metallic measures.
here we have the local noise that is the green line and the remote noise that is the red line. This is the threshold limit according to the international max. Then we have the return loss. Okay, this is always the threshold limit. Now we have the longitudinal balance here. Okay. Now we have the automatic line end by TD Air. Here we have the insertion loss. And this is the threshold limit. It's referred to an ideal line with same length wires, diameter and dielectric. And here we have the estimated signal to noise ratio. The test is finished.